Have you ever wondered what the fastest way to get mythical epics in Prodigy is? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the tips and tricks for getting mythical epics the fastest way possible in 2024. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. So the main source of getting mythical epics is Prodigy's monthly quest releases, as you see right here in the mythical epics tab of the pet book. The mythical epics that are currently available for obtaining are Frozra, Polar Tide, and Blast Star. That is actually going to change soon. Polar Tide is going to become unobtainable, and we do believe it will be replaced by Aquadile. So, Prodigy sometimes releases new mythical epics, and then they also occasionally do re-releases of mythical epics, so you can get old mythical epics that have been unobtainable for a long time, such as Blast Star is av available at this current moment, and Aqua Isle will be available real soon. And these are all of the mythical epics that Prodigy has released so far, and I'm just going to be showing you how you can get them most easily. And as you, as you may know, the taming process of a mythical epic requires you to go to three different elemental locations, those being Firefly Forest, Shiver Chill Mountains, Skywatch, Bonfire Spire, and Shipwreck Shore, and collect various items from those elemental locations. The first task, you have to get three of the items. Sorry, I meant four on that. The second task, you have to get five of them, and the third task, you have to get six. And here is how you go and get these items. You have to first travel to the elemental location that it says that the item is available from. So let's say it's from Firefly Forest. So you're going to go around the location in every area. Not every area is going to have them, but you're going to have to go through pretty much every area. And you'll find these openable items around, scattered around. So Firefly Forest has these two different types. First, there are these flowers, these dandelions. You click on them and they will open up and they will give you some item. This is just the first of the two types of openables. We'll get into the second type once I finish talking about this type. So you go near them and you'll find that you receive some items. So you could receive something like this, copper coin, florins, something like that, but you could also receive an actual item when you are doing the task. It is completely randomized, so do not worry if you do not get the items immediately because it is completely random and you may just get lucky with it or not. So things may take longer sometimes, it's just random. Don't worry, plenty of people struggle with not obtaining the items fast at all. It can sometimes go really slowly. And now what's important is once you open these dandelions, you have to wait two days for them to respawn. So that means wait one day, and then wait another day, and around the exact time that you opened them, you should be able to open it again and try again to receive the items if you did not get all of them on the first go-round. Now that applies to all the dandelions scattered around Firefly Forest. The other type are these crates that you can open, and they will also give you some of the same items. It completely depends. It's randomized. Some say that these are more likely to give you the items you're looking for, but I don't believe that. It just seems to be completely randomized. And the thing that is different about the crates is you have to wait one extra day for them to respawn. So after you wait the two days for the dandelions to respawn, you have to wait one more day for these to respawn, and then you can try and get them again. So there's basically like a few of each type scattered around the location. So you would go around Firefly Forest after you open some of them, or those two, or however many you do. You would travel around the rest of Firefly Forest and find all the other ones that you can. You will have to do monster battles, of course, so expect to have to do those. 
but depending on where the monster spawns, you may be able to bypass them. So as you see, there's some more dandelions up here. You would be able to open those after you've finished this monster battle. And so you would just go around the rest of Firefly Forest. Now let's say the item you're looking for, one of the tasks is in Shiver Chill Mountains. Basically, you're going to go and, well, do the same thing. Go through every area in Shiver Chill Mountains and search for the openable items that you can try to get your quest items from. We're going to go ahead and do this battle. And we're going to find up here a snow pile. This white snow pile right here. That is going to be the openable type of dandelions from Firefly Forest. So these are the ones that respawn every two days. And the other type, you'll have to go a little farther to find. These crates are the equivalent to the boxes in Firefly Forest. They will respawn in three days. So the other elemental areas will also have these two different types of openables spread out across the area. If your quest items are to be found in Skywatch, you can find these heart balloons right here. Those are the equivalent of the dandelions and snow piles in Firefly Forest and Shiver Chill Mountains. And those are going to respawn in two days. And you can also find these uh, safes in areas like this. They are the ones that will respawn in three days instead of two. So, of course, try to remember that when you are searching. Bonfire Spire, you will find these two different types here. You'll find these, like, plants that you can go and open. These are the ones that are like the dandelions, heart balloons, and snow piles. And you will also find these crates that also give you items, and they are the ones that will respawn in three days. And lastly, your search may take you to Shipwreck Shore, where you will find these two types. These sand piles are the ones that will respawn in two days. You can find them across the island. And these treasure chests are the ones that will respawn in three days. Those are found deeper into the island. So, once you go around collecting the different items from three different elemental locations for one, Mythical Epic. That will depend on what the Mythical Epic is, the combination of elemental areas that you have to go to. Once you collect all items, the four task, the five task, and the six task, after you finish each one, you will be able to trade with Ula, who is the character that Prodigy has designated to trade Mythical Epics for. Well, pretty much you take your quests items to Ula, and she will provide you with the location of the mythical epic you are looking for. You're just going to click on the button on the task page, and click on the uh, icon on the map that has the um, music notes above it, and it will take you to a spot that is close to where Ula is. You should not have to do any monster battles to trade with Ula. But you will not find Ula if you do not click on the trade button and take, and it'll take you to the elemental location. You can't just go there by yourself and expect to find your mythical epic. Well, actually, you can trade with Ula, but you'll have to do your monster battles. So be cautious of that and use the button in the mythical epics tab. Once you have traded with Ula, now you are able to go find the mythical epic and do a taming battle against it. You have to go back to the tab, click the taming button, and then it'll take you to the map again, where you click on the elemental location that has the stars above it, and then you're going to go follow the trail of stars that appears on the area when you go to it. And once you finish following that, it shouldn't be long, you should find the mythical epic available to battle. You will probably have to do monster battles, you may or may not have to, they will be there, so watch out for that. But then you'll just go up to the mythical epic, and click on it, and you should go into battle with it. It'll take several hits to take it out, because it does have a lot of hearts. 
but once you do so, you've completed one taming battle, and then you can do the others in any order that you like. You can do all of these steps as soon as you have finished one of the quest item collections. You don't have to wait on anything after you have finished the collecting, but you cannot receive the mythical epic on your team and as a buddy until you have finished all three taming battles, which means you have to finish collecting all three sets of items and trade with Ula three times before you can complete all three taming battles and receive the mythical epic. So that is going to be how you get the mythical epics that Prodigy releases monthly as part of their mythical epic quests. Now there is one other way to collect mythical epics so far in Prodigy and that is through the treasure track. Now so far there have been two seasons of the treasure track, one that was in beta testing and one that is currently going right now. It won't be going for much longer, it ends in 6 or so days, but this treasure track currently has Solar, which is a re-release of a previous mythical epic, so you can get Solar through the treasure track, and that's by uh, answering a lot of questions. You can find out more information on my treasure track uh, videos. So that is a simple way for members to get a mythical epic. The, mem the beta test treasure track had Drenchor, previously Blue Fury Mag Mayhem as one as the mythical epic and we can assume that each treasure track may have a re-released mythical epic even though we're not entirely sure because we will see what the future brings on that. But do remember mythical epics are only available for most types of memberships. I believe well actually pretty much every type of membership can get mythical epics from level up membership to ultimate membership. So those are the ways to obtain mythical epics in Prodigy, both through the monthly quests that Prodigy releases and the treasure tracks that they do as well, and those update about monthly as well. So I hope this video helped you out if you were struggling to get the current mythical epics in Prodigy, and I wish you the best of luck on going and finding your items so that you can obtain these really cool pets in-game. Remember that it is randomized and you will most likely not receive every item immediately, so just patiently wait 2-3 to three days for all of the openables to respawn and you can try again. Again, I hope this helps and thank you for watching.